Let's style my wavy hair. I'm gonna take you through my entire routine. Okay, TikTok, there's my intro. Let's go do the intro now for Instagram. right with you let's style my wavy hair I'm gonna take you through my whole routine and we've got another camera here so sorry I'm gonna be going back and forth but if you have questions feel free to let me know okay I think they do like an intro on Instagram maybe I'm still in the intro but anyway so I had to do that this is my first time going live on two platforms at once hi baby so um if we're having connectivity issues, just let me know in the comments and I'll disconnect one of them and just stick to live on one platform. Um, but yeah, so hi Instagram, welcome to the party. This is old news for my TikTokers. We've been doing this every week for a very long time. Sorry, we're just waiting for him to have had enough love and then we're gonna get started. We're a couple minutes early anyways. This is Sterling. He just got neutered, so he's kind of depressed. But other than that, he's a good boy. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm gonna go live now, okay? I'm gonna go live. I feel like a horrible dog mom. Okay, go away now. Go this way. Go this way. <laughs> There we go. I don't think he can get in front of the camera now. Okay, so I'm going to start. I washed my hair and dried my hair a little bit earlier. We're going to go in now and totally resaturate. But if you ever wondered what my hair looks like, air dried with no product, it's not fully dry right now. But that's what we're working with. So this is what I normally work with. It's very frizzy on the top layer. Um, it's a lot curlier underneath. My hair is so long right now. I'm so overdue for a haircut. So I'm just going in with my mister. My hair is still damp, but I'm going to fully saturate it. Sorry, I just don't want to get water all over my camera. But that's what I'm doing right now. I'm fully saturating my hair. Um, you could also just like stick your head under a sink. Maybe that would be easier. Maybe that would be easier. Hold on, let's see where we're at. Maybe I'll just saturate it in sections. So the products, I know because I'm going to get the question first. The products that we're using today is going to be the full Lust lineup. So if you've been wondering about that, if you've been seeing me in some of their ads, we're going to do it. This is not a sponsored uh, live. However, you guys know I do work with Lus, um on other projects. And all of the products that we're using today were gifted. So... Um, I have two options. We could use the white wavy formula. We could use the curly formula. I could do half and half if you guys want me to. Yeah, somebody's commenting that my dog was sitting on the couch like a human. I get it. He's pretty cute. He is so much like a human, I think, just because he's so big. Um, so... Uh, yeah, let me know. I'm going to leave this up to TikTok because it's harder. Instagram, you're further away from me, so it's harder for me to uh, read the comments. But TikTok, if you want to vote on, do you want me to use the wavy formula, which is just so you know, my go-to. I like to use the wavy plus the gel usually. Or if you want to see the curly formula, I could use that instead today with a little bit of gel. Or I could do half my head wavy, half my head curly. And you guys, if you really want to do that to me, if you want me to go through my life, <laughs> uh, no, it's not Febreze, don't you worry. <laughs> if you want me to go through my day with uneven hair, I can do that. Although truthfully, I can probably even it out and make it look pretty even. Okay, we've got one vote for the curly formula. Instagram, anybody voting over here? Not yet. Oh my gosh, 73 live on TikTok, only 11 on Instagram. Come on, guys. <laughs> Uh, curly formula. I could do half and half though too if you want me to. I could do half my head wavy, half my hair curly so you guys can really see the difference because I'll be honest with you, it is subtle. It is very, very subtle, the difference between the wavy and the curly. One critique that I will give to their wavy formula, most people with wavy hair want stronghold, right? If you have wavy hair and you're in this comment section right now, 
tell me you don't want something that's going to stop the curl from falling out of your hair. Um, and that would be my one criticism of their wavy all-in-one is I definitely wouldn't describe it as stronghold. And so for a long time, I thought the curly would be better, but truthfully, none of your Lust products are going to give you, none of their all-in-ones in my experience are going to give you a true stronghold. So that means their curly formula in particular, I think their curly formula is fantastic. I used it for a really long time, but again, anybody who has curl that falls out over the course of several days is probably going to want to mix it with a gel or a hairspray even. Um, and so I think that's one of the biggest criticisms they get online and I tend to agree with it. Wavy, one vote for curly. Okay. We could do half and half. Nobody's interested in me doing half and half. Should, should we save that for a uh, TikTok, like for a video that I could post or a reel? Um, one sec. So, okay, the leave, I do, I am gonna use a leave-in conditioner in addition to the less products. You definitely don't have to, but um, I'm not convinced, I don't know if the less technically can double as a heat protectant. I just don't know the answer to that. I should ask less. Um, I know for sure that this really light leave-in conditioner, I'll show it to all of y'all. Half and half, please. Okay, we have one vote for half curly and half wavy. The Evolve Smart Curl Leave-In Conditioner, It. I know for a fact it has, uh, built-in heat protectant. And I am notorious for using high heat when I'm blow drying. So I'm going to put it all over because I like to, I don't know, my hair loves moisture. Um, this is gonna give me a little bit of that moisture and like frizz freeness um, underneath the all-in-one. You can go straight in with an all-in-one. I don't want you to think that you can't. Um, you definitely can. I tend to like to layer products even with the all-in-one, but when I'm just like at the cottage or something, I will just go in with an all-in-one and use it on its own. Um, if I want it to last several days, I find it can be helpful to have a little bit more hold. So we're just going to go with all the products today. Got my hair cut short with layers a few days ago. My curls have never been better. Oh, I love that for you. Okay. We're going to keep... Just saturating, saturating, saturating. I want my hair to be dripping wet when we're styling it. This is gonna help us so much. Somebody on Instagram is asking if I could do a live where I straighten my hair, which yeah, I totally could. I didn't think anybody would be that interested in that. So that's interesting that that's something you'd like to see. Um, I tend to straighten and then curl my hair, which I know is ridiculous, but I think it looks like if I'm gonna go through all the like bother of straightening my hair, I want it to be exactly the way I want it. I might as well get the style I want and I like it to be like loose beach waves. It's a very different look than when I style my hair as loose beach, beach waves. For sure. Um, I recently started trying to understand my curls better. Tried the bowl method yesterday. Amazing Kelly bowl method. I think was popularized by Zia. Curly Zia. I don't know if somebody did it before her. Or if she was the person who started it. But it's a great technique. I think it's a great beginner technique. The first. Give it two tries. The first time you do it. It's very likely uh, you're going to do something wrong. Because it, it, it just takes some getting used to. But give it two tries. Try it one more time. Um. For me, I don't love it for my hair. I think it can be great for like a hair that's a little bit less curly, definitely wavy. I mean, my hair's wavy too, but like a little bit less curly than mine. Um, but the key is experiment with different techniques. So if you're a beginner and you don't know where to start, Google the bowl method. That is something, that is one routine that you could start with. Your curl pattern is crazy for the last week after straightening. Oh yeah, do a deep conditioner. Definitely looks better, but still needs some work. Yeah. Okay. So I have lots of leave-in conditioner in my hair now. We are going to start brushing. This is weird. I've never gone live on two platforms at once. It's kind of freaking me out. Uh, so we're just detangling right now. I just added my leave-in conditioner. Like I said, you can go straight in with your last product. You don't need a deep conditioner. I just, I like that extra little bit of moisture. I have very moisture loving hair. 
Um, this is a very light leave-in conditioner. I just like using it for slip detangling and the built-in heat protectant. Yes, I do have a horse in my house. <laughs> and it's, uh, neath of your curls look great, but the very top layer is frizzy and flat. That is normal. Kelly, are you diffusing your hair? Because that's going to be the easiest way to address that. I am going to go through and diffuse my hair today, guys. So if you've been, if you're afraid of diffusing or you've tried it and you're someone who says, I just can't diffuse my hair, it just makes my hair frizzy. Trust me, this is the diffuser tutorial you've been waiting for. There's so many right ways to diffuse. Like my way isn't the only correct way to diffuse, but um, it's one of them. <laughs> it's one of the right ways. And there's a lot of wrong ways to diffuse too. Uh, where I'm also live on TikTok for anybody who's wondering. And I've been going live once a week on TikTok for, I mean, I've been going live for almost a year on TikTok, but I've been doing it regularly once a week, as you guys know, for quite a while now. Is it normal to have different curl patterns? Yes. I have very different curl patterns. Okay. So we are going to now go in with, uh, I think we got more votes for the curly. So I'm going to start just by showing you guys the difference between the curly and the wavy formulas. It's not... A big difference it is a very subtle difference so okay so we've got some curly I'm gonna just put them both on here and some wavy um, I think a lot of you reach for the curly and should be reaching for the wavy just so you know full disclosure um, so when I show you the two I'm gonna come for you in just a second do you see so this is slightly more this is the curly, this is the wavy. So this is gonna be slightly more like a gel, and this one is going to be slightly more like a leave-in conditioner. This is the wavy, this is the curly. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing for you guys. This is the curly, it's slightly more like a gel, and this is the wavy, it's slightly more like a cream leave-in conditioner. You see that difference? Very, very subtle very subtle if you switch to the kinky coily you're going to notice a big difference i have used the kinky coily and guess what the kinky coily can give me great results on my hair obviously it's not meant for my hair um i'm going to get back to some of these questions however uh, i did use kinky coily for an extended period before because i was struggling with frizz in my hair and it's much heavier and if you are new to learning your hair and you have wavy or wavy curly hair this is gonna sound familiar. You're gravitating to these heavier products because you're struggling with frizz, but then suddenly your curls go limp or they get heavy or they start breaking. Your hair is getting over moisturized because guess what? Those heavy products aren't meant for your hair. And I did this. I totally did this. Um, I'm guilty of this before I started fully understanding as much as I understand now. So uh, I stopped using the, the Kinky Coily formula. I dropped back to much lighter products that are actually meant for my hair type. Kinky Coily is meant for more coarse hair types. Um, even the Curly formula is really intended for normal or coarse. It's intended for curl that's not falling out as much. As you saw, it was a lot more like a gel. Um, what I like for wavy hair, there's two main types of wavy hair. There's wavy hair that you like it to just be an S wave. You're not really like overly pressed about whether or not the curl is falling out because it's already just like a loose wave and you're just embracing the loose wave. So we've got that. And then we've got our wavies who kind of manipulate it a little bit more or who get some ringlets in their wavy hair and they don't want that curl to fall out. So that would be like the first one would be my wavies that I think should stick to just wavy. And my second one, those wavies who have some ringlets in their hair like I do, and that ringlet tends to fall out, I would do wavy plus their gel. So that would be kind of the combinations that I like to do. Okay, so we got some good questions here. Uh, my hair is curly, but my bangs are barely curly and I do diffuse. Oh my God, mine is the same. My bangs are like the least curly part of my hair. Um, do curly haircuts really make a difference? I don't have any curly hair salons near me. So I actually don't go to a curly hair specialist. I go to a senior stylist. Her name is Mallory Does Your Hair. That's her TikTok. Um, we've known each other since we were teenagers. Actually, technically, we went to elementary school together. And she's phenomenal. She's based out of Ottawa. She's not a curly hair specialist, I don't think. But most senior stylists that you go to at a like good salon 
if your hair is my curl texture or less, you should be fine with them, but you need to communicate. You need to bring inspiration pictures off of Pinterest of what you want. You need to explain to them that you wear your hair um, like diffused with curl products or with wavy hair products. Tell them I don't straighten my hair and they're gonna cut your hair around that. Most, see, and the other thing is go find their Instagram. That is their portfolio. Do they cut people with wavy hair like yours or wavy curly hair or curly hair like yours? Now, if you have kinky coily hair, if you got type four hair, even if you have like high type three hair, yes, I recognize there's probably quite a bit of benefit of going to a curly hair specialist, especially if you want someone to hold your hand on what you should be doing for your hair. That would be the difference. A curly hair specialist is probably gonna talk to you about the right products to use, is gonna talk to you about hair care, a regular hairstylist who's just very comfortable cutting wavy hair or wavy curly hair, they're just gonna be able to give you a great cut, but they might not be able to hold your hand in the hair care and like product selection and stuff like that. So that's my take on that. Oh guys, I'm really struggling. I think I'm gonna go with the wavy. The reason I'm gonna go with the wavy is the curly on my hair, I would typically use as an all-in-one. Like I said, it's more of that gel consistency. So. I, if I was to pair the curly with a gel, it would get a bit too heavy for my hair. If you have only ordered the curly and you're like, ah, oh, it's just not holding my hair as much as I would like to, like the, the curl is falling out, try pairing it with a really lightweight gel. But if it's still not quite where you want it to be, next time you order, try dropping down to the wavy formula and pairing that with a gel. That's what has worked best for me. I go to Curl Ambassadors, there's one in Vaughn Brampton, Pickering, Toronto try them they're great that is so far from me but that's awesome that you found someone that works well for you okay so we i'm going to show you the wavy i'm going to show you why I, I choose the wavy on my hair um so we are going to start by separating this i finally after i had that jaw clip video go viral and everyone got mad at me for not using a big enough jaw clip on my hair i went out and bought a big jaw clip and i have to say you're right <laughs> it is so much easier with a big jaw clip <laughs> Uh, okay, so how much, man, I haven't used the all-in-one in a second, so I'm going to start with like a quarter size amount, kind of, that's probably more like a nickel size amount, and I'm going to distribute that all around my hair, and I'm going to make sure that my hair is fully soaking wet, we talked for a long time there, so we're going to make sure it is saturated, oops. Okay, so we've got a good amount of wavy squeezed in there. I like to go through section by section with all of my less products to make sure that I'm evenly distributing the product. And by the way, I don't want to deny, like a lot of people can use the less products as an all-in-one. Um, I just don't think there's any such thing as a one-size-fits-all product. Like, there's, it would be impossible to create, again, same amount of product again, uh, it would be impossible to create a all-in-one product or even three all-in-one products, the wavy, curly, kinky, coily, that would be true all-in-ones for every single hair type. Like, it's unrealistic. You just can't. However, with that said, it works as an all-in-one for a lot of hair types. It really does. And I've seen that firsthand. Uh, personally, I tend to layer it. I, again, like I said, if I'm at the cottage, there's a giant spider. I'm just gonna have to let him get away because I don't wanna kill him right now. Um, on my hair, I can absolutely use it as an all-in-one. If I'm trying to get out of the house fast, it's great to use it as an all-in-one. The spider has disappeared. Um, oh, sh I just re-added gel to the same section. Oh, sorry, not gel, all-in-one. But don't be afraid to layer is all I was gonna say. Try using it as a curl cream. Try using it as, yeah, I would say curl cream, especially for the wavy is what it's most comparable to. Um, but it would be like a curl cream with a small amount of gel mixed in and your wavy formula again is going to be closer to that leave-in conditioner with a little bit of gel and your curly is going to be closer to a curl cream with a little bit of gel. Um, we had a really good discussion on my last live about what is curl cream and who is it for? Guess what? Just because you have some ringlets in your hair does not necessarily mean that you should use curl cream. Did you know that? Not everybody knows that. Oh, the products that we're using today is the less lineup. So we're using right now the wavy all-in-one and then we're going to be using uh, some of the gel as well. Uh, so 
It is not a curl cream. It is an all-in-one product, meaning it's kind of a blend of a few different products. Um, so I like to go in on soaking wet hair with my all-in-one, and I actually brush it through my hair. Um, on soaking wet hair, I'm going to brush it through, and that way it's evenly distributed. Um, I do find with both the wavy and the curly, you really need to add, in fact, all the less products, you really need to add it through in sections. And it does do this thing, once you start brushing it through, it's activated with water. So make sure your hair is soaking wet, add a little bit, brush it through, make sure your hair is soaking wet, and check to see how much it is, because look at that. See how I brush through and it turns white? Don't worry, that will go away as your hair dries. It's totally normal, it doesn't mean you have too much, although I know it feels like it means you have too much. Okay. I've already gone through like a full water bottle here. Okay, so I think, so then you brush it through to evenly distribute. So basically it, when it bubbles up like that, when I brush through, that just means it emulsifies in water. Okay. I just want it soaking wet for this next part of styling. Your curls are dead. What did you do? Did you bleach them or just straighten them? Also, you can have zombie curls. You can bring curls back from the dead. I mean, obviously you can cut them off and start from scratch, but you can also do things like Olaplex, deep treatments. Just start taking care of your curls and you can start to see a huge difference. One second, I thought I brought out, here it is. Okay, so we're gonna get started. We're gonna use a demo brush today. And uh, I'm gonna refill this because it's getting a little bit empty before we get started. We're gonna go through the demo brush and I'm gonna do two different demo brush techniques. The first technique that we're gonna do is called ribbon curls. The second technique that we're gonna do is called brush curls. I'm not gonna to do too many brush curls. I used to do a full head of brush curls through my whole head and I don't do that anymore. So uh, that's interesting about Olaplex. So the thing to note about Olaplex is um, it's natural that it makes your hair feel stiffer after you've used it. Everyone's hair is like that. It's like strengthening the hair, right? So after I like to always deep condition after I use Olaplex, um, and that helps kind of make it more supple again and soft. But it's, I still like to do Olaplex occasionally just to keep, like you know, because I do use heat on my hair to keep it strong, prevent breakage. Um, but it could be maybe your hair is like, maybe you're allergic to Olaplex or having a reaction. I mean, like I said, there's no such thing as a silver bullet product that works for absolutely everybody. But it is very common for your hair to feel stiff after using Olaplex. That doesn't mean it's not working. That's actually normal. Um, it's still good to use. You just want to deep condition afterwards. So excited. My blonde is almost grown out. Amazing. It's crazy when I style people's hair. It's there's always such a dramatic difference between the curls that have been bleached and the curls that haven't. Um, yeah, I think I'll probably save today's live and upload it to YouTube, guys. That's what I've been doing lately. There's a couple of my old lives there as well that you can go check out. Okay, so we're going to get started. Uh, my YouTube is just Gal Has Curly Hair. Uh, my, oh, for anybody who doesn't know, my account is getting renamed on Friday. It's going to be Gal Has Wavy Hair. So if you're looking for me after this Friday, I will try and use the hashtag Gal Has Curly Hair for a little bit, a little while so you guys can still find me. Um, but just a little heads up if you're looking for me next week, that's how you're going to find me. Uh, the all-in one, I think it's, can someone help me out? Is it $22? Shipping is expensive. So I'm going to straight up, I, I own it. I know shipping is expensive on it. You can't buy it in any stores yet. Um, all of these products were gifted to me guys and I do work with Lust. This is not a sponsored live, but it was gifted product and I work with them on other projects. Um, you can order, if you split the order with a friend, you can get free shipping. I think if your order is over a hundred dollars. So, you know, if you're both buying the three step system, then you'll get free shipping. Uh, so I would recommend that. Also, generally my favorites are, sorry, I got like a warning that I had been on here for too long. Uh, uh, yeah, so you can get free shipping if you split it with a friend. That would be my recommendation, and I pray that soon they're available in stores. Why the name change? 
Uh, a lot of reasons for the name change. To be honest, I don't really want to get into it on the live here. After I do the name change, I will probably talk more about why I've decided to do the name change. My hair is so long, I know, right? Eh? Uh, okay, I'm so sorry. Instagram, I'm not going to be able to answer your questions because it's going to end up ruining the live. You're too far away. Uh, but you're welcome to send me a DM on Instagram, which is so much easier anyways, right? Or you can comment on one of my other videos. Guys, we're going to stay answering these questions. Uh, the side of your hair looks moisturized and curly. The other side dries frizzy or waves. Are you adding the same amount of pro product on both sides? That would be the most obvious issue. Um, okay, so we're going to go through and this is called a ribbon curl. So I'm catching the hair in my D4 down and brush. You can see the product bubbling up. Don't worry. That's normal. All we're doing is brushing it through and then giving it a little shake to revive the curl. Does this work on everyone's wavy or curly hair? Absolutely not. Some people's hair just doesn't like using a diamond brush. That's okay. You also don't have to use a Denman brush. Um, you can also try using uh, any old paddle brush that you have lying around. Oh, I have, man, I haven't used this product in a while. Something I forgot about the wavy formula. It is so good for clumping your hair. It's very moisturizing. That's true of all of their all-in-ones. So again, this is just ribbon curl. So I'm really just like brushing through. Is your hair just washed? No, I just, it's washed, and then I added the wavy all-in-one from Love Your Curls, from Luss. The green brush is linked in my bio. It's called the Easy Detangler. It's from Amazon. Okay, so we're brushing through literally just like that. All we're doing is just clumping the curl. I'm going to come closer to this camera. All we're doing is see, okay, let me give you an example. Do you see what that looks like? how those curls are not too bad, but they're a little bit stringy. I don't know if you guys can see on both cameras. Now I'm gonna brush through, and remember there's that all-in-one in my hair, that's why it's turning wet. And I'm gonna brush through like that, don't worry, that doesn't mean you do have too much product, it's normal. And do you see how it ribbons it kind of into these larger chunks? If you want your hair to be less stringy, then going through and doing this with any sort of brush before you start diffusing is going to help create those larger curl clumps and it makes a really big difference in the final result. Okay, so I've gone through the bottom layer of my hair is by far the curliest section of my hair. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention guys, we just hit 100,000 followers on TikTok. I don't know why you guys all follow me, but you're all wonderful people and I just love the little community we're building here. So much fun. It happened overnight and I'm very excited. I can't believe I forgot to mention. Okay. Yeah, so you don't even necessarily need to go out and buy a Denman brush. I do not work with Denman brush, but like, hey, Denman, hit me up. Um, you can use a lot of different brushes. Let me show you. Here's a scrunchie brush. This is another brush, but again, you don't, you can use a paddle brush from the dollar store. Here's the scrunchie brush. You can brush through and it does the same freaking thing. You see what I'm talking about? Where's my easy detangler? I'm gonna show you with the easy detangler now. Yes, I definitely think it is worth doing before plopping. I'm so glad you asked that. Plopping also is not something that is good for everybody. Like when I plop my hair, okay, I'm gonna do a demo brush because I can't see what I'm doing at the very back. I do it by feel. Um, Okay, and then give it a little shake and drop it. Aw, oh, thanks for the congrats for over there on Instagram. I appreciate it. Um, so plopping is not for everybody, guys. For some people, it's going to create too much frizz. So make sure you're plopping in a cotton t-shirt or in like a microfiber towel. But I personally prefer micro plopping, which I will do today to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is an easy detangler. This is just to show you can truly use any brush. Even doing that helped a little bit. Now the difference with a demo brush and a lot of paddle brushes is when you brush through, you get a lot more tension, which can help. And then you shake through and give it a little scrunch. Um, thank you for the balloons, Kelly. I really appreciate it. Um, and the other thing there, I'm just gonna go through and kind of, it's falling weird because I'm styling the back of my head too high at too high an upward angle and so it's not falling nicely here let me try that again Kelly you just became my top viewer yay thank you for hanging around okay so how I do the back of my head just like that 
and we're gonna manipulate the hair we're gonna micro plop and that's gonna help break up some of these curl clumps but keep in mind whatever the curl clumps are when your hair is wet is gonna be the curl clumps that your hair wants to keep reforming into once your hair is dry so if you struggle with curl clumps continually reforming keep that in mind you might want to do smaller curl clumps when your hair is still wet break those curl clumps up I mean okay so as I get to the top of my head I am one of those people whose top section of my hair awesome Kelly I'm so glad you're finding it helpful I'm one of those people whose top section of my hair is way less curly than the bottom section of my hair it is dramatic some people have the opposite I know but what I typically like to do is lots of scrunching on the top of my head but sometimes I even like to switch to brush curls as I get closer to the top of my head and this can help take some of those s waves and finish that curl and make them more of a spiral do you feel like you get bad product buildup on your scalp when you're using so much product no but uh that's just me uh, you can also if you guys saw at the beginning I actually didn't add that much product this product just emulsifies in water so it looks like a lot of product um, a lot of products you wouldn't want to see it like this that would mean you had too much but products that emulsify in water are gonna look like you have a lot more product once you start brushing through okay and products that emulsify in water like this tend to be great for helping your hair to clump Uh, someone says my hair only lasts one day no matter what I do my first question is what are you doing at night to protect your hair are you doing look at that so see how straight it got afterwards you want to give it a little shake let some of that curl come back maybe even scrunch it if your hair is doing that now if your whole head does that after you brush through it and um, it just like it struggles to revive Demi brush might not be for you okay especially folks with really fine hair or thin hair find that sometimes so you're sleeping with a silk scarf pillowcase and in a pineapple okay what uh my hair only lasts one day what products are you using vanilla on day one we're going to diagnose somebody who says they can never get day two hair to look nice uh vanilla that's who i am helping right now uh best tip was to sleep with silk scarf yeah totally the product that is in my hair right now is the less wavy all-in-one um in a pineapple uh technically if you have wavy hair like mine it's called a willow i don't know if you knew that fun fact not a pineapple pineapple is more for like definitely type 4 hair and i think type 3 hair um and okay so the back i'm just brushing through guys with doing ribbon curls so you just kind of brush through and let it shake and all we're doing is getting rid of wet frizz if you have wet frizz you're gonna have dry frizz so you're adding curl cream and gel aunt jackie's so vanilla you can always send me a dm with a picture of your hair but if your hair is not lasting through till day two is the issue with your hair on day two just that it's like poofy frizzy lacking definition or is it looking greasy flat um those are kind of the main two complaints that i see for day two hair i'm seeing from content creators that have super fine hair that it can be hard to get more than one day a hundred percent we're getting to that in just a second um and that is actually a really good point i always recommend um following content creators that has hair that looks like yours and don't get overly pressed in like terms like wavy or curly uh worry about does it look like yours or does it not look like yours lack or of definition and frizzy you're not adding enough product on day one probably <laughs> vanilla that would be my main guess um but someone did make a good point if you have very fine hair or just some people's hair in general you struggle getting two days out of it so what you can do is just have a little water bottle a mister is great because you can evenly dampen your hair without fully saturating your hair and that will revive the curl um, and like help it bounce out and then you can re-diffuse or air dry if you put a lot of work into your styling routine on day one you might be able to get away without uh, diffusing on day two and just letting it air dry um, but then it weighs down then the products you're using are too heavy you probably need like a lighter leave-in conditioner instead of a cream um, and maybe a mousse with a small amount of gel so if in order to use enough product to get two days out of your style you have you're weighing your hair down you're probably not using the right products fun fact not for sure again it's guys I'm giving advice without ever having seen people's hair but that is like a good rule of thumb and uh, keep in mind that there might be exceptions I'm so glad you love my dog his name is Sterling 
He is a little sweetheart. Okay. Um, I am now going to switch. I have done ribbon curls all up until now on the bottom of my head where my hair is curliest. Now we're going up to like the suavey sections and I'm going to start doing, yes, he is a mastiff. I think maybe a little great Dane in him too. Oh, thank you for everybody who just followed me. That's so awesome. Um, I'm going to go in with a brush curl. So who are brush curls for? If you have like type three ringlets that start at the root, have fun, experiment with brush curls if you want. It might be unnecessary. It might help if your curls naturally are frizzy or don't have a lot of definition uh, in those spirals. Um, you can definitely do brush curls. You might find some other techniques a little bit faster. I'm using the all-in-one wavy with less and we're gonna add some gel after um, with less brands. Uh, but really I find brush curls are, when I reach for it the most is on wavy hair, is on S patterns or people who have ringlets, that a wavy hair that starts spiraling a few inches down from the root. So the curl isn't starting at the root. That's where I tend to gravitate for brush curls the most often. Uh, you've recently switched to two gels and a light leave-in. Creams are too heavy. Totally. Yeah, my hair is getting so long, guys. Okay, so we're going to go in with a brush curl. We put the hair through the bristles one time, and then we are going to start wrapping it, but we wrap it around the handle, guys. Do not wrap it around the bristles, or you will cut that brush out of your hair. Depending on your hair type, you might want to take larger sections for your brush curls or smaller sections. Um, because uh, I have pretty tiny ringlets on the bottom of my hair, I like to kind of match that with these curls that start much uh, further down, these waves that where it start to spiral further away from the root. Um, I like to kind of match the smaller curls that are underneath, so I tend to take relatively small sections. Uh, and I spiral it up. Again, we have the wavy all-in-one formula from Lust Brands. You can find the link and a discount code in my bio. This is not a sponsored live, but I do work with them as a brand and all of these products were gifted today. Um, okay, so again, I'm just gonna walk you through. So we take a diamond brush. You can do this with a paddle brush that has a smooth round handle. If you don't have a diamond brush, this is the D4. You can also try the D3, which I think is the seven row. So we put the hair through the bristles one time. And then we are going to wrap it around the handle, not through the bristles, guys. Then I'm going to start wrapping it up towards the root just to get that grip. I am not a hairstylist and I'm not a hairdresser. I'm just someone who likes to play with their hair. <laughs> um, okay, so then I'm going to start pulling it down. Guys, if your hair does not smoothly pull down to, until just the tips of the hair are going through the bristles, do not tug, do not pull, do not force it unwind it from the handle until you can move it smoothly and if you can never move it move it smoothly add a product to your hair that has more slip make sure your hair is soaking wet and if you still can't move it through smoothly i would recommend finding a different technique because i don't want you putting a whole bunch of tension on your hair and pulling the hair all out of the root so once you're down and you just have the tips of the hair going through the bristles wrap it all the way up to the root and then i like to kind of unwind it a few times until i get that slip back and i can just pull it through that one gave me a very loose spiral. <laughs> that is like the least curly brush curl I've ever gotten in my life. But anyways, we're gonna try it on the other side now. Oh, I'm glad you love my content, thank you. Your hair has way too much product in it. This is going to ruin your natural care. So this is a, a wavy all-in-one from Less. Um, it, it's a product that emulsifies when you add water. So I actually added very little product, but when you add water, it gets very emulsified. I've worked with this product a lot. I can totally use less product, you're, you're right, but I'll get a lot less definition. Now, part of addressing that is that I also like to add a little bit of gel for definition as well. Um, I don't know, I, I'm pretty familiar with my hair. I don't know if you're new to my page. My hair is very, very healthy, so I don't think you need to be too concerned about my hair health, but I appreciate the feedback. Um, and I do agree, oh, someone's on my door, one second. For anyone, uh, I did that yesterday and made my curls more spiral. What did I do wrong? Oh, hold on. 
Uh, love less. How do you stop frizz? Do, 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 do. Still too much for you. You're a cosmetologist. Okay. I mean, thanks for the feedback. You know, I'll continue to play around with it. I agree. Sorry if I just pause there for a second, guys. I agree. Actually, to, to be frank, I don't totally disagree with you. This is slightly more of the product than I usually add, but I don't know. I've used this product a lot. Um, and I always see at least a little bit of the white bubble up and I haven't had a struggle with, with damage at all. But anyways, thanks for the feedback. I'll keep that in mind in the future. Um, have you ever tried weed ad products for your hair? I'm obsessed with their gel, uh, their advanced heat climate control, something gel. Uh, it is fantastic for humidity. Okay. We're going to do another brush curl. I'm going to, and somebody is saying, how do we stop frizz? Guys, what we are doing right now, adding your products and then going in and brush styling like we're doing today is a fantastic way to prevent frizz because if you don't have wet frizz, you're less likely to have dry frizz. Um, I'll, you're so polite. Well, that person I don't think was being rude at all. I think they were trying to be helpful. And it, I think it is helpful, you know? It's something that I'm gonna go away and think about. How do I style the back of my hair because it always ends up being flat uh, up and away from your head using brush styling? Um, that is all I do, 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 do. Okay, so I'm going to do another brush curl here. We are going to put the brush through at the top again. And I'm going to brush curl away from my face. Lately, I found I used to always brush curl in the same direction as my natural curl pattern. But lately, I have been brush curling away from my face face which is in the opposite direction of my natural curl pattern um and i've been getting more volume at the root it's like a really interesting phenomenon uh i don't know what pirate clan you're talking about hair oils i don't know what context you're talking about hair oils in um love to join the conversation i just missed the beginning of it uh okay so we are going to brush through from the root and then start rotating the brush wrapping around the handle not through the bristles guys you don't have to do this with wavy or curly hair Absolutely not. It is a fun thing to do if you like doing some of these longer curl routines that have kind of these more like Barbie perfect results, but you can get absolutely gorgeous wavy hair without doing this. I don't want you to think you have to. I like to do my hair. It's a hobby for me. Okay. So uh, once it's around the handle, you're going to pull it through until just the tip or you're going to pull it through as far as you can without losing the grip. And then I slowly want to work it down till just the tips of the hair are through the bristles. If you don't do that, then you won't get the spiral all the way down to the end of your hair. Keeping in mind, I'm talking about doing brush curls on more S wave hair or hair that where the curl doesn't start at the root. Okay. Oh, see, I have layers. So it's starting to come through. Now we're going to wrap it all the way up to the root and we are going to do that. There you go. Lovely. Give it a little scrunch. Okay, when I went all the way to the end of the brush, then wrapped, yes. She's talking to her. Uh, what happened? I feel like I'm missing stuff in the comments. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's because I'm not good at multitasking. Guys, if you're new here, if you're not new here, you might know this, but if you are new here, you might not know. I suffer with a brain injury. <laughs> So it's actually really challenging for me to multitask, but I love chatting with you guys and I love getting to know you. So if sometimes it feels like I'm repeating myself or going over the same section several times, it's probably because I'm trying to multitask. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. I am from Canada. Okay, we're just gonna focus because I think people are getting impatient here. So I'll put the brush through uh, and we'll rotate. Where are you guys from? Let me know in the comments. Um, I'm going to brush through, wrap it around the handle, and then slide it until just the tips of the hair are going through the bristles. And then I'm going to wrap it all the way up to the root. And then I'm going to unwind and then pull through the last little section to make sure that spiral continues all the way through the hair. Toronto! Yes, Manitoba! Love it! Canada, lots of Canadians. The product that we are using today is the Lust Brands Wavy Formula. I do have a discount code, link in my bio that you can check out. We're doing another brush curl. I really like to do brush curls at the back of my head. You can see I kind of style them directly up like this. Arizona, Nova Scotia. I might be going to Nova Scotia in November, just on a little holiday. So I like to take really small sections when I'm doing these brush curls at the top of my head. 
Um, also, guys, I just hit 100,000 followers on TikTok last night. That is so exciting. What do you do to celebrate that? I don't know. Take my dogs for a walk. I live a really exciting life. <laughs> okay, we're just going to take, as I get more to the top of my head, it, Ottawa, Illinois. Oh my God, that's so funny. I've heard of that so many times because we have the same city name because I live in Ottawa. Um, it's a D4. D4 Demi Brush linked in my bio. It has nine rows instead of seven rows. Um, we are going to keep going. Uh, so you can see how small these sections are here. In fact, when you get these really like short sections, it can be easier to do brush coils like that. Um, some people find it easier to do their whole head in brush coils. For example, uh, Curls with Kira, I think is her name. I think she does her whole head in brush coils. Uh, you're in Alberta. Amazing. Love my Canadian folks. Love my Americans too. Uh, Sudbury, Ontario, what, what? Okay, Florida, I've got a big following in Florida, probably because I talk a lot about humidity. A lot of people don't realize that Ontarians deal with crazy humidity in the summer, much like Floridians. Uh, I have not tried Aunt Jackie's products. Guys, I get gifted so many products that I tend to stick to the products that I get gifted. Don't make a ton of money here doing this, so uh, you're welcome. Uh, I'm so glad you guys are finding this helpful. Don't forget to double tap the screen to send if you want to send me likes. That's super helpful. Okay, so we're going to do a couple of brush coils just because we're at the top of the head and I want to do tiny ones. So I just catch it in the bristles and kind of roll it like that down. I don't like to do that for my whole head because it gives me much ropier curls um, and brush curls gives me like a more chalk size ringlet. So it kind of depends what your natural curl pattern is. Do I have a YouTube channel? Yes, I do have a YouTube channel. Same name as this account. Don't forget guys, I am changing the name of my channel on Friday. So if you're looking for me after Friday, look up Gal Has Wavy Hair, not Gal Has Curly Hair, and you will find me. Um, I will continue to use the Gal Has Curly Hair hashtag for a little bit, just to make sure anyone looking for me can find me. Um, okay, so we are gonna keep going. Aw, thanks for all the follows. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to a brush curl here. We are gonna put it through and rotate. Uh, you can click the link in my bio, guys, to see the less brand products that we're using today. I'm using the wavy formula in my hair. I'm also gonna use the gel afterwards in a little bit, and I do use their diffuser, which I think is no longer sold out. If you're looking for a diffuser that's like a middle of the road between like a Conair and a Dyson, like it's, it's like between those two price points, I think this is a great blow dryer diffuser combination. Uh, I know so many questions about the name change. I'm going to wait and address it after I've actually changed the name of my account. Lus is a Canadian brand that is based out of Toronto. So if you want to support your Canadian girlies, um, suggestion, make a second account and give the name you currently use. Just make one video, make a second account and give it the name you currently use and just make one video. Oh, that's a great idea. Thank you. You're still terrible with the diffuser. Have you seen my playlist called Diffusing? Have you seen my playlist called Diffusing? Uh, okay, Sammy Pomegranate, you're my best friend. Thank you for that tip. To like redirect people. Have you seen other people do that? That's so smart. Okay, so for, I, we just had a bunch of people join. So let's, y'all really hate your fur. I don't know what that means. Okay, so we are going to, Hi, Robin. That's my mother-in-law. Guys, did you see the video where I styled her hair? It's doing so well. It got like 800,000 views or 700,000 or something. Uh, so is there a reason to use the wavy formula versus the curly formula? It's much lighter. It's a much, li well, not significantly lighter. It's slightly lighter. The curly formula is slightly more gel-like, so you will get a slightly stronger hold, but I also find it's heavier and it's still not a strong hold product. So for me, if you need strong hold, I think you're better to switch to the wavy formula and pair it with gel than you are to uh, use the curly formula, which will give you more hold, but it's still not going to be a strong hold. That's my hot take, but uh, very short hair. Oh yeah, short hair is tough because um, yeah, I, I can't make diffuser tips about that because I don't have that. Your hair, oh my God, day three and Robin's hair is still looking good. We love it. Um, you have very long hair. Maybe you need a haircut. All these girls have shorter hair that has curls. I mean, it's up to you, but your hair, often hair 
that's like down to here will get curlier if you cut it up to here. If you cut it too short, it might get less curly. Uh, okay, awesome. Off to the doctor with ribbon curls. Love it. Okay, so we are done. We've done all of our brush styling. You can see how there is no wet frizz, right? We have no wet frizz at all. Okay, how do you fix wet frizz? Brush styling is your friend. Uh, but you can also use things like the bowl method or uh, the bowlless method. If you look under my full curly hair routine playlist on TikTok, uh, I believe there is a, a method called like a full curl routine called the bowlless method, which is my preferred version of the bowl method. Basically, what's the name of the dryer you mentioned? It is the Less Brands hair dryer, and we're going to be using it today. Okay. So now I like to, because you can see how flat it is on top. Uh, if you struggle with straight sections on the top of your head, like I do, I like to then very gently flip my hair upside down like this. Let's make sure that Instagram's not just looking at my butt. Okay. Okay. Just very gently. And then I'm going to give her a couple of scrunches. We're just going to scrunch her. Not too much guys. Not too much. In fact, I'm what I'm gonna do instead of scrunching, I'm gonna micro plop. So this is what I like to do instead of plopping my hair. I find it creates less frizz. Um, so again, if you're finding this helpful, guys, don't forget to double tap on the screen. Send me those likes, it really helps me out. Um, so this is a microfiber little like plopping towel, but instead of actually plopping my hair, I like to just go like this and very gently push up on the curls. And it just removes some of the excess product. Careful, because yes, it will remove some of the excess product as well as some of the excess water. Sorry, what did I say the first time? I'm trying to remove excess water here. Um, I don't like to like do too much of like manipulation of the curl. You can do a little bit, but I don't want to create too much frizz. Okay. Really what I'm trying to do here is get rid of as much water as I can so that we're not going to spend quite so much time blow drying my hair because my hair does take a long time to blow dry. Okay. And this is my little shake for getting my hair upright again. Did you guys see that? So put it all, your hair going straight down, give it a little shake back and right like this, and it will help everything to settle. And do you see how much curlier those top sections are now? Makes a huge difference. Oh my God. The algorithm knows you like watching hair content. Um, watch your bolus method. I think it's under my playlist full curl routine. Okay. My towel is, what brand is this? It was gifted to me by my mama, because she is lovely. Laporum? Laporum, but I'm sure you can get one off of uh, Amazon. Okay, guys, now what we're going to do, I think we are going to do kind of like a hybrid of the Smasters. Yeah, we're going to do a bit of a Smasters. Okay, so Smasters is when you add gel twice. You add it like now, and you also add it like 50% of the way through diffusing. It's great for getting a really hard cast. Kelly, thank you for more balloons. I love you. That's so sweet. You guys are the best. Oh, this is such a fun live. There's so many people on it, and I just hit 100,000 um, TikTok followers last night. So this is a good... You guys... Okay. Uh... <laughs> I'm a child. Uh, this is the Love Your Curls Irish Sea Moss Gel. Totally love this gel. Lately, there are these air bubbles in the last um, order of less products that I got, and it is driving me nuts because it's so hard to get the product out. Okay, I don't know why. I've never had that issue with less before. Um, so I took a little bit of gel. And I'm going to glaze it over top of my frizz free curls, right? I don't want to work it through the hair. I'm not going to brush it through the hair like what you might do uh, with your curl cream and your leave-in conditioner. And the reason I do that is because it will weigh my hair down if I do that and I'll lose a lot of volume. So I'm just kind of glazing it on top of those curls. I'm wiping the excess off and then we are going to start blow drying. Um, is it possible using a Demer brush weighs down my curls? Yes. We talked about that earlier. Demer brushes are not for everybody. Um, start by trying to give each section a little shake and scrunch after you use the Demer brush. But if you still find you're not liking the results, try a different technique. 
Dem there's no such thing as a one size fits all solution for wavy or curly hair. And Demi Brush is not necessary for everybody. Last time I styled my mother-in-law's hair, the video that just went viral a few videos ago, I think it's at 750,000 views. Sorry, that was gross. Um, I just spilled water everywhere. Uh, I did not use a Demi Brush on her hair at all. Okay, so we're gonna go in with my diffusing technique and I feel like this is my pièce de résistance. I feel like this is where I shine. <laughs> Uh, Laura, that's funny. Uh, let me just see what, what was in your hair before this point? Uh, that's a good question. Oh, Robin, thanks for the rose. Is it possible to use? Okay. So, uh, up till now I have the wavy less all in one. I used maybe a little too much as someone pointed out in the comments, but anyways, it's fine. You can see my hair is not weighed down. All good. Then I glazed the Lust Irish Sea Moss Gel, which I absolutely love this product for humidity. I would say it's a medium strong hold gel. It's not going to be your strongest hold gel of all time, but it's more than enough for me. I actually don't really need strong hold products. How does all the products not make your hair look greasy once it's dry? Uh, you'll see. The, this Lust product, it bubbles up. It looks like a lot when your hair is wet, and then when your hair dries, it's not as much as you thought it was. Okay, so uh once you pass the 600 point i think you end up getting a lot of people a lot of trolls in the comments so we'll see <laughs> we'll see how this goes so i'm going to start diffusing now a couple of things that i actually hold on we're going to sit upright the first thing that i like to do when i'm diffusing is to get those roots and to get that volume now my wavies who want shrinkage in their curls you might even like to start by pixie diffusing your ends I get lots of shrink like ringlets at the ends of my hair. I'm less worried about that. What I struggle the most with is volume through the root. So I'm going to bubble diffuse my roots first. Okay. Remember we added leave-in protectant in my leave-in conditioner right at the beginning. So there is heat protectant in my hair. Um, I'm going to put it on a medium heat when I'm doing this. Just by bubbling it up like that, it's going to help the hair to dry in more of an upright position. Guys, if you find this helpful, don't forget to double tap on that screen. It helps me so much. If you want to learn more about wavy or curly hair, hit that follow button. I go live every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Okay, so 11 Eastern Standard Time. So I'm going to, oh, I have it on cold. Put it on like a medium temp right now. Uh, and we're just bubble diffusing these roots to get that volume. I learned this technique from Curl Vitality and I truly... I, 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 I resisted for so long. I resisted the bubble diffusing and I don't know why. I just, I guess I thought it like was gimmicky. I don't know. I started doing it. And if you've ever tried the jaw clip technique where you jaw clip the center and then diffuse also actually works. Definitely works. If you have very fine or thin hair, you might find you don't want to leave it like that the whole time or you get a bit of a kink but I find this like bubble diffusing where you pull up at the roots and diffuse it like that is kind of a more like hands-on way of doing that where you can customize it a little bit more. So I definitely recommend if you struggle with that root volume to try this out. I have it on that medium volume, uh, a medium heat rather. And again, I'm just gonna go all the way around and get it to dry in this kind of lifted position and that's gonna help me so much with volume. So this is gonna be my first step when it comes to diffusing. We're not gonna do this until my hair is dry. I just wanna get my, my roots mostly dry. So up until now, for anybody who just joined, we added some of the less wavy formula all in one. Um, I brushed it through to evenly distribute it. And then we uh, went in with a Demon brush and did a combination of ribbon curls and brush curls. Has anybody else here tried bubble diffusing? I'm curious if this is the first time you've seen someone doing this or if this is like old news to you. I think I was the last person on this train. By the way, if you don't already follow Curl Vitality, who I learned this from, you definitely should. Um, the product I used, guys, take a screenshot. This is the wavy all-in-one formula. I have a discount code if you go through the link in my bio.
If your hair is very tangled, guys, it's often an indicator that your hair needs more moisture. So I would get a moisture forward deep conditioner. And I mean, Lust really should be sponsoring this video because now I'm gonna recommend the Lust deep conditioner. I love it because it works in as little as five minutes. So you don't have to leave it in for like 20 minutes. You could, but you don't need to. Um, but if you want a non less one, you can try, uh, the, thank God it's natural, TGIN, Honey Moisture Miracle Mask. You leave that one in for 20 minutes. Like it, but tried it many times. Doesn't work for you. Totally. Everyone's hair is different. Done it for 20 plus years. Yeah, none of this stuff is new. Your hair is short, so you can basically only do this for diffusing. Fair enough. Uh, okay. Oh my God, you're doing less wavy formula and diffusing. Okay, so we got the roots a little bit in there and now I'm gonna go in and start whoop, hover diffusing. I like to hover diffuse like this. I don't know, I, I, I'm sure I don't need to. If you have a bad back, you probably don't need to do this. When I start hover diffusing, I put it up to high heat. So hover diffusing is I hold it like 10 centimeters away from my hair. Yes. These products, the link is in my bio, like the, the Lust Brands link, and there's a discount code. Um, and the all-in-one is under curl creams, I think. Uh, but also I have like the main Lust Brands thing. Okay, so we're just gonna go through. Would you guys like to see me do a live where I don't use a Denman brush? Is that something interesting to you? Do you want like a more simple live? Just ordered the Lust Wavy last week. Love it. Does it cast better when you hover diffuse? Totally. What a great question. But yes, it does. Because you're not disrupting the cast. So yes, we would like a live that is like a slightly more simple, straightforward curl routine. Okay, I hear you. We will do that maybe next time. Sorry, I have an issue here. So I like to hover diffuse, right now I'm probably gonna hover diffuse until my hair is maybe 50% dry. And then like I said, I'm gonna do a bit of a smaster's technique. So then I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more gel. Aw, thank you. So I said my house is cute. Okay. So again, I'm, I'm kind of doing like a hybrid. This isn't really hover, true hover diffusing is when you hold it a few centimeters away from your hair and just go back and forth. I am kind of going into it a little bit. After doing this, how long will your curls last? I can make them last like five or six days. They're obviously not gonna look quite the same on day six, but typically I end up washing my hair again after somewhere between four and five days. Okay? Uh, you can't find my bolus video. Why don't I repost it? I'll download it and I will repost it after today's live. Does your gel leave your hair with a crispy feeling? I love this question. So a lot of curly and wavy hair products, gels and mousses and hairsprays in particular will leave your hair feeling crispy. Absolutely. So will this gel. That is totally normal. How do you get rid of that though? Obviously you don't want to go through life with crispy hair. So once your hair is 100% dry, you're gonna, once your hair is 100% dry, like it's not damp at all anymore, we are gonna go in with a little bit of hair oil or some people with fine hair prefer to just do it with their bare hands and you're gonna scrunch until all that crisp crispiness goes away. If you're struggling to make the crispiness go away, try using a little bit of hair oil. I know it's counterintuitive. You're like, my hair already looks like it has too much product in it. If I add more product, it's gonna look worse. I can't add hair oil. Trust the process. I cannot tell you enough. Adding hair oil and scrunching will make it look like you have less product in your hair. I know it's counterintuitive. Okay, so I'm glazing in a little bit more gel, guys. This is called the Smasters Technique. Thank you, Miss Knox, for making me try this technique because now I keep going back to it. Um, how much do you spend on products monthly? All of my products get gifted to me. Um, but I used to, I mean, I never had a big budget for curly hair. So before I started getting products gifted to me, 
I would use a full bottle before I tried a new one. So I would say maybe around $25 a month. I, you need wave tech by Mondo. You love it. Never have crunchy curls. But like I said, I don't dislike crunchy curls because the crunchiness goes away. Once I'm done my curl routine, it feels like I have almost no product in my hair. Like seriously, it feels like there's no product in my hair. You will see what happens. Okay. So we've glazed in a little bit more gel. I don't think people should be afraid of a cast. I have curly hair and my locks underneath are so amazing, but I can't get the hair on top to do the same. My hair is like that too. Um, so I like to do brush curls on my top layer and a little bit of scrunching and that really helps. Julia, it takes half the time. You mean the wave tech? Well, do you mean it takes half the time because it's a product that dries quickly when you blow dry? I, I mean, I should definitely try it. I've never tried it. I'm not dissing it. I'm just saying I'm not afraid of a cast. The blow dryer is the Lust Brands blow dryer and diffuser. Curl stretching helps with the crunchiness. Totally. Depending on what your curl pattern is. I'm trying to make my little ringlets stay tight so I don't want to curl stretch too much. So I scrunch instead. Aw, so sweet. Can you list the steps real quick that you just took? Of course. Yeah, I think a couple of people are asking that question. So the first thing I did is I washed my hair and on soaking wet hair, once I was out, done shampoo and conditioner, I went in with the wavy all-in-one and evenly distributed this all over my hair. Okay, then I brushed it through to make sure it was evenly distributed. I even sprayed it with a little bit of water to make sure it was fully saturated. Then I went in with a Denman brush and I did ribbon curls, basically just brushing through the bottom layer of my hair to make sure that it wasn't stringy and had no wet frizz, okay? Once I was done with the bottom layer of my hair, I then went through and did the top layer of my hair, which is less curly, definitely more on the wavy, straight, wavy side. Um, and on that section, I did brush curls, okay? I am making a mess. Um, and then once I had done all of the brush styling that I wanted to do and had gotten rid of all the wet frizz, and see how I still have almost no frizz. Then I glazed some gel all over my hair. I used the Irish sea moss gel. One second. Hi guys. <laughs> Sorry, Instagram, I haven't forgotten about you. Um, I used the Irish sea moss gel, glazed it all over. Then I started bubble diffusing my roots. And then I went in and I've been ho oh, hover diffused until about 50%. And then I added gel again. That is called the Smasters technique when you do two gel applications. By the way, guys, if you are new to TikTok or in, I don't know if Instagram's the same, but certainly if you're new to TikTok and you're starting to go live and people keep asking to join your live, don't accept them. Never accept someone in your live that you don't know. Uh, I cannot stand the smell of Lust Brands. They have the unscented version. I actually really like it. Yeah. Figuring out what to put in my hair. That is that is the main question. This is, sorry, I took the, the cap off of it, but it's the, one second. I don't want to spill it all over my floor. The Irish Sea Moss Gel, and it's linked in my bio too, guys. Plus I have a discount code. I think I, it's only 10% off, but that's what they gave me. So, you know. 10% off is better than no percent off. Sorry, I just spilled some gel on my floor, so I'm just gonna do that. Um, you can turn off the function so people can't request to host with you. Yeah, but if some of my friends wanna go live with me, I'm happy to do that. Um, okay. okay, so now I'm gonna switch to pixie diffusing. That's when I cup it, get in the position I want, and then I hold it for about eight to 10 seconds, okay? Uh, for short curly hair, I, I've never had short curly hair. I've had short hair, but I didn't used to wear my hair naturally wavy when I used to did that, do that. So I don't have as many tips. How often do I wash? Once every like four to five days. I could go six days, but I've been the last days really starting to get frizzy and usually my um, scalp is getting pretty itchy by then. But my are your curls fake or natural? So I have wavy hair. Um, I mean, it's a good question. The bottom section was just like ribbon curl, like just brushed through the Devon brush. So I would call that very natural. The top of section of my hair, which is more wavy, swavy. I do use a brush curl 
like technique to enhance the natural curl pattern. So um, there's like a mix of what my hair naturally does and some like kind of styled version of what my hair does. So there's a little bit of both. Is this drying method for your type of hair? Uh, yes, everything that I talk about on this channel is intended for my type of hair. I've maybe tried it on a few other hair types, um, but typically the idea of bubble diffusing is for anybody who wants more volume. The idea of hover diffusing is anyone who wants less frizz. And the idea of pixie diffusing, which is this, is anyone who wants more shrinkage. Does that make sense? Keep your curls for that many days. Do you sleep in a bonnet? So I sleep with my hair in a silk scarf at night or a silk sleep cap. And um, yeah, it makes a huge difference in not losing so much product overnight and not getting so much frizz. So uh, do you have a perm? I do not, I do not. You have three C, four A hair. I bet your hair is absolutely gorgeous. What if you have low porosity wavy hair? I have normal, I would say porosity wavy hair. Like I would say normal on the lower side of low porosity, but if you've seen true low porosity hair that's like hydrophobic, I don't have that. Um, but yeah, like with porosity, like technically low porosity products, are, hair is gonna prefer lighter products. High porosity hair is gonna prefer heavier products, but that's just one factor, right? You also wanna take in that wavy hair typically prefers lighter products. Kinky coily hair typically prefers heavier products. Not always, because then another factor is, is your hair coarse or fine? You could have type four hair, kinky coily hair, but your hair could be baby fine. Well, then you don't wanna use heavy products, right? So there's all these things that we have to weigh when we're choosing products. Any suggestions for combating frizz and high humidity? Uh, use a gel that is meant to combat frizz and high humidity. Like the Advanced Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel by Wee Dad is a great one. In fact, this one is also pretty damn good in humidity in my experience. This is the Love Your Curls gel, the Irish Sea Moss gel that I'm using in my hair right now. Okay. So... Usually when I do smasters, I get a really good uh, cast on my hair. However, I'm not expecting the most intense cast in the world because I've been pixie diffusing for a long time. And this act of pixie diffusing and actually manipulating the hair um, tends to break the cast on my hair. I also used a lot of the wavy all-in-one formula today. Um, and if you use too much of moisturizing product or, or just like a certain if you use a lot of moisturizing products or if you're using products that are too heavy for your hair before you go with your gel, it won't create a cast. So yes, the gel does create a gel cast. I'm not expecting a huge gel cast today for all the reasons I just listed. You don't need to apply the gel twice. Let me be very clear. This is just one technique. Guys, there are so many right ways of doing your hair. So many right ways of doing your hair. Um, you can definitely get, a, so I tried products all on here, mine frizzes. So, I mean, it could be, product is just one thing, right? Like I could use all of these products and still have my hair come out frizzy. In fact, I have done that when I didn't know as much about my hair. So you saw, I added products, I also brush styled, and I also used very specific diffusing technique. These are all things to consider. Um, if you have wet frizz, you're gonna have dry frizz, almost always. Um, and if you diffuse and you just go in, I'm like, don't even want to do it. But if you do this, okay, that's all I'm going to do. But if you do that, very likely you're going to have frizz. How long do I diffuse until it's dry? The, but the other thing I can do, how long do you think it takes you generally to diffuse? Uh, probably 40 minutes, somewhere between 25 and 40 minutes, depending on the products I've used. Someone talked about the, uh, Brad Mondo wave tech foam or mousse. Probably if I used a mousse like that, mousses tend to dry really quickly, gels tend to take longer to dry, very moisturizing products tend to take longer to dry, and I did add a lot of the uh, wavy all-in-one, so. Okay, so we are getting there, guys. I'm diffusing on high. I don't recommend that, but otherwise we will be here in this live all day. And I do have heat protectant in my hair. That's why I always add a leave-in conditioner before I use the Lust because my heat 
protectant has, my uh, leave-in conditioner has built-in heat protectant. I'm using all three steps in the gel moss, still having frizz because of the humidity. Um, are you using a nut? For you, I would say send me pictures of your hair on DM on Instagram and I'll try and help because it could be a lot of different things. Maybe it's the gel, maybe it's not the right gel for you depending on where you live in the world and how much humidity you have. Um, but it could be a lot of other factors too. So basically there's no point in diffusing if you don't go all the way. Is it damp when you start? I kind of agree with that. I would say if you're gonna diffuse, you want diffusing to be until dry, and if you don't have a lot of time to diffuse, start later. Let your air hair air dry for the first little bit. Like let your hair air dry until it's 80% air dry, and then diffuse that last 20%. You're gonna get most of the volume definition and shrinkage in that last 20%. But I wouldn't say there's no point because a lot of people, if they don't do any diffusing, they're gonna have wet hair for 24 hours. So you might have to diffuse a little bit just so that your hair dries by noon at work or whatever. So there, there can be reasons to go ahead and diffuse even if you can't diffuse until all the way dry. But personally, I would rather have the last part of my diffusing to, uh, pro the last part of my drying process be diffused. You're welcome. I mean, I have a lot of patience. I also love doing my hair, guys. It's a hobby for me, and this lasts several days for me. You cut about four inches of your 3C hair, and this shrinkage is wild. Tips to elongate your curls. Um, I'm going to recommend that you go to Richie Roman Style, I think is his name. He is another uh, curly hair creator, and he styles a lot of type 3 and 4 hair. Um, also curly gal Clo is another creator um, because I have wavy hair I don't spend a lot of time trying and I work mostly with wavy hair I don't spend a lot of time trying to get get past shrinkage and I don't want to just speculate I want you to get really good information so curly gal Clo, don't be deceived by her small amount of followers she is a pro she is a pro I'm not a hairstylist guys she is and she is a curly hair specialist she would have great tips for you um, also, uh, Richie Roman stylist, I think is his, uh, TikTok is the other guy. What products did we use today? Who can tell this person in the comments? I used the Lust Brands Wavy Formula. And then I glazed their Irish Sea Moss Gel. Not, and also nothing wrong with shrinkage. Thank you so much. That's such a good point. I should have said that in the first place. I don't know where to start, but I want your hair natural again. I have a playlist called Getting Started. And guys, when I talk about playlists, I'm talking about TikTok. I don't really have playlists on Instagram. Uh, CMOS gel, yes. One second. Uh, I am going to talk more about the wavy versus curly definitions at some point, just not today. Um, my hair, okay. Anyways, you guys are commenting too fast. <laughs> Oh yeah, you just prefer your hair longer. Yeah, just like there's nothing wrong with shrinkage, there's nothing wrong with, you know, doing brush curls if that's what you like to do. There's nothing wrong with any of these things, but there's also nothing wrong with, with having shrinkage. And, and yeah, there's, I know there's a lot of pressure to conform to like the TikTok creators, like perfect chalk size, shiny ringlets, but that's not what healthy curls look like on everyone. And that is not the only version of beautiful curly hair. You guys know this. I don't need to tell you. Where can you purchase less directly from less? I don't think they have any retailers. I think you have to go through them. My bedtime routine, I sleep with my hair in a silk scarf. Did you finger coil your hair? Is it naturally perfect? <laughs> so I did uh, dem it all under here. This is just what my hair does naturally. Uh, that was just dem in ribbon curls is what I call it. And then the top layer, I did do brush curls. Uh, oh, I'm so glad. They do have a website, it does ship pretty quickly. Do you have any tips for airing out your hair without external smells? Uh, no, I don't know. You've been on a natural hair journey for four and a half years, good for you. I know it's a lot of work and it can be discouraging sometimes. Well, I don't know. I'm. I think the natural hair, 
that title is really reserved for black men and women who are learning to embrace their natural hair despite um, societal and, uh, you know, pressure and oppression and ostracization for their hair. So I don't know what that's like, but I know what it's like trying to learn how to style naturally wavy hair <laughs> from not knowing how, which I know is totally different things. Uh, but from that perspective, I can relate to that. <laughs> uh... Raz Millie, you just became my top viewer. Oh, and thanks for the fire. Oh my God, how many presents have I been getting and not noticing? You guys rock. Okay, my hair's still not dry. Uh, do you add protein in your hair? So, for anyone who doesn't know what that person's talking about, some wavy and curly hair products contain protein and some of them do not. Protein is a type of ingredient. For example, keratin, biotin, collagen, Hydrolyzed rice protein, soy protein, um, all of these ingredients are protein ingredients in your hair products. So, we want to balance the amount of protein that we have in our hair. Protein is good, it strengthens our hair, it prevents breakage, it can help your hair be as curly as it, as it can be. But if you have too much protein, your hair can get brittle, it can contribute to breakage, your hair gets very tangled. Um, and your hair actually goes limp again. Uh, so you want to balance the amount of protein you have in your hair. I have an e-guide. If you, it's free. You can go to the link in my bio and click the flashing link. Um, and that is a free e-guide that you can download that talks about protein moisture balance. I'm going to keep working and expanding on that e-guide. Um, so probably if you download it a few months from now, it will even be more beefed up than it is now. It's totally free. Um, but it's just the biggest question that I get and the one that people misunderstand the most. It also links to a bunch of my YouTube videos and TikTok videos if you prefer to learn by me talking to you like this. Um, so go check that out. So someone was asking, do I add protein to my hair? Yes, and I think everybody should use some products that contain protein ingredients, but you want to make sure it's the right amount for your hair. And my hair is very protein sensitive, so I don't like to add, to, I don't like to use too many products that contain protein, okay? Um, so for that reason, as my regular gentle shampoo, Aw, thank you. For that reason, I'm not going to uh, use a regular gentle shampoo that has protein, a lot of protein in it. I like to use more moisturizing shampoos, and I just occasionally use styling products that have protein in them. Just got my huge bundle today, your gel in the mister, super pumped. That's so exciting. Um... So protein, yeah, but some everyone's hair needs a different amount of protein, so your hair might love protein. You know what kind of hair loves protein? Typically bleached hair, often wavy hair loves protein, just not my hair. Uh, you might even have different sections of your hair if you have two very different curl patterns on your head. Some of your hair might need more or less protein than the rest of it. I know, so annoying. So you can see guys, my diffusing technique there has changed a little bit. I'm being a little bit more aggressive. I'm not turning the blow dryer off every time I move it. And that's because I'm almost done diffusing. My cast should already be set. The person who said I added too much wavy all-in-one earlier probably isn't here anymore. They were right. The fact that I have no cast on my hair right now is telling me there was too much wavy all-in-one. So for someone who said, oh, you're being so polite to her, I'm like, well, she might not be wrong. <laughs> you're allergic to coconut and having a hard time finding products. <laughs> totally. Uh, contact Curl Vitality. I think that they do a mailing list and I think they have an allergy mailing list. Uh, you probably have to pay for it, but Curl Vitality is another TikTok account. You can check out. They're amazing, much bigger than I am. So what is a cast? What a great question. So a cast is what you get from using hold products like mousse, gel, or hairspray. And it's that crunchiness that so many people don't like. I think the crunchiness is misunderstood, okay? So if once your hair is 100% dry, it looks shiny and has that crunchiness to it, it just means you're not done styling your hair, okay? That crunchiness is not bad. It's where you're getting the hold from. It's what helps you hold that curl if your hair is prone to losing curl over a course of several days. So once you have that crunchiness, once your hair is 100% dry and shiny, what I'm gonna get you to do, scrunch it, make sure it's 100% dry, even in the very center of those uh, ringlets or spirals. And then I'm gonna get you to put a little bit of a hair oil or a shine serum on your hands 
and go all over and scrunch everywhere. I know your hair looks shiny. You're worried about using more oil or product on your hair. Trust the process. It's going to look like it has less product when you're done. Put a little bit of hair oil in your hands, scrunch all the crunchiness away. Anywhere that you feel crunch, scrunch, 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 scrunch. And it's going to come out looking like this. I don't have a cast today. We can talk about the reasons why. It's a reflection of something that I did in my routine. But the products I use today can give you a cast if you style it differently. I actually have some videos about like why you're not getting a cast. And I do have a playlist about how to diffuse. I love the Lust shampoo and conditioner. Love it. I have a 10% off discount. It's link in my bio. Um, is letting your hair dry naturally bad for curls? I don't want to directly answer that question. First of all, I'm not a hairstylist. But what I would say is um, it's the reality for a lot of people. You don't have time to diffuse. You got triplets. You got one baby for crying out loud. Maybe you just don't have time to diffuse. It is what it is. Maybe try using mousses and foams, products that are going to dry more quickly in your hair than like a curl cream would. Um, if you have very low porosity hair, uh, that means your hair maybe takes 24 hours to air dry, or at least it takes 10 hours or more to air dry. I would highly recommend diffusing because having your scalp and your hair wet for that long is not ideal. It's not good for the skin. It's not good for your hair. If your hair air dries in four hours, you know, I think it's fine. Oh, my back, my back, my back. Ooh. We're just going to take a break. We're going to take a breather. If you missed that explanation of protein versus moisture, don't forget to download my free ebook. Oh my God, I sound like one of those people, but it is free and I made it for you and you can download it if you want it. And it links to a bunch of, look at him. You can, it links to a bunch of my like YouTube videos and TikToks that explain protein versus moisture. So it's a good resource. Aw, thanks. Uh, I used to ride motorcycles uh, before my head injury. Um, and this was the women that I used to, I was in an all female motorcycle uh, club not club, group. And we used to go on moto camping trips and stuff and we were the leaders. Um, long time less user. You get crunchy cast all the time, totally. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Do you ever straighten it for fun? Totally. No, I definitely do it. Hi, Victoria. I definitely, every, Victoria, I go live every Tuesday now at 11 a.m. You're welcome. I'm so glad that people that do videos also have their house clean. That's so funny. <laughs> My husband is a very tidy man, so our house is usually pretty clean. What kind of cut do you have? It's grown out. It used to be a wolf cut. I'm not done, by the way, guys. My back just needs a break. So we're just going to chat for a second. Who wants wine? Just kidding. It's 11. Wait, it's 1230. This is water. No one's going to believe me now. You're going to think I'm an alcoholic. Oh, also, I can't say that word too many times. One time I got banned on my live for saying the A word too many times because I was talking about drying A's and not drying alcohol um, in hair products. And I got banned for like over 18 content because they thought I was talking about drinking. <laughs> Just use my discount. Yeah, go get that 10% off. Sorry, it's such a crappy discount. I hate 10% off, but it's what I have. What do you start looking after kids' curly hair? Uh... So I've got more curly kids curly content coming soon, by the way. I've watched girls doing videos and I'm like, oh my God, clean your house first. Mm, I can't get on board there with you. I think there's a lot of reasons someone's house might be messy. Um, a <laughs> lot of reasons. Yeah, I, I wouldn't pass judgment on the cleanliness of someone's house that's, you can have a very clean house and still have a life that's in shambles and you can have a very messy house and, and have a very full, rich and fulfilling life. I grew up in a very messy house, mom. Margie, mama, and my house was full of love and a very structured and healthy childhood. Okay, uh, no hate, I just, that's my take on that. I just can't partake in that. Uh, gotta fly, you're welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Okay, so let's see what's happening here. Oh, by the way guys, if you see something about subscribing to my channel, don't click on it. Um, I just got that feature and I'm exploring it right now um, about is there some sort of value I could offer you guys that would be worth you subscribing to? Uh, but I'm not doing anything right now. So if anybody subscribes to it, I'm going to try and like delete them because I don't want anyone to end up paying for it. 
I don't know. It's I'm like still figuring out how it works. Does the actual blow dryer matter? Uh, a, a, a cheap blow dryer just might take longer. Uh, what helps? So I'm not done yet. My hair's not totally dry. I'm just kind of giving it a break. Thank you for your words on clean, messy house. Oh, you're welcome. I want to wash my hair even though I did it yesterday. That's so funny. Okay, we're going to keep going. I'm going to do it sitting up now because that's what we feel like doing. We're going to go back to bubble diffusing. Look, my clean house people are all welcome here. I respect you. I want to be like you. My messy house people like you. I want to know what other area of your life is shining. We don't all have the same strengths. <laughs> Um, how often do I wash my hair? I would say every like four to six days, depending. You don't have to do the diffusing the squat position. No, I don't know. I just, I feel like it works better. <laughs> I'm struggling with what I do with bangs. I always pin them back. Um, I have a whole playlist on TikTok about curly bangs. Go watch that. I can't really show you because my bangs are so grown out right now. Um, but go watch that playlist. It has some really good tips because I had short curly bangs for a long time. Victoria, your hair, you have really figured, I don't know if it's like your protein moisture balance that you've really figured out or what exactly has happened, but your hair has gotten much curlier lately. It's funny because I've been like waiting for that because I was like, man, I feel like her hair has a lot of potential, but like what's going on? It's like there's some sections that were so straight and lately... It's just wild. You've had such great results. Victoria underscore Curly, I think it's her name. She's got beautiful wavy hair. Go check her out. My dog's name is Sterling. And wait, where is he? Where is he? Oh, I think he fell asleep. He's an English Mastiff and he's so cute. Uh, yeah, curly bangs are definitely a commitment. You can start with uh, Korean bangs or like bangs with benefit, which is more like kind of like this. Where If you look up Korean bangs, you'll see examples of it. This is the diffuser. What is protein moisture balance, guys? I have a whole guide that you can go download. It's a free e-guide in the link in my bio about protein moisture balance. It is a whole thing, but basically there's two things. You want to make sure you have enough moisture in your hair so your hair is not frizzy, right? And it's healthy. You also want to make sure you have enough protein in your hair so that your hair doesn't fall limp. But if you have too much protein, you can get a lot of breakage, shedding. So it's, you want to balance those two things. You don't balance them with each other. You balance each one on its own. And I wrote a guide about that that can be really, really helpful because it's kind of a complicated issue. And it links to my YouTube video, if you would prefer to just have me describe it to you. Download the guide, it'll link you to my YouTube video. Uh, what kind of hair oil do you use to scrunch out your cast? Um, this one has silicones in it. Uh, oh, you just found me today, so exciting. This is Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine, it has silicones in it. I clarify once a month, or probably twice a month, so I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be using silicones. It's something with I should uh, experiment with in the future, but I only use silicones in my hair oil, which is the last thing I add to my hair. Silicone can create a barrier in your hair, which can prevent your hair from taking on additional moisture. So if you put it on too early in your process, like if you're the first curl cream you add to your hair has silicones, um, and you wanna add moisturizing products after that, your hair will stop taking on moisture and you can get, it can build up on your hair. Now clarifying gets rid of that buildup. And I do clarify my hair at least twice a month. So I only use silicones in my hair oil. And the reason I use it in my hair oil is because I live in a very humid environment. And so by using a hair oil that contains silicones, it stops my hair from taking on moisture from the environment. It creates a, it's a sealant, like a barrier on my hair. So I keep that definition. Uh, I currently am using the Way Detox, O-U-A-I. It's okay. I don't love it. The one I recommend is the Bounce Curl Gentle Clarifying Shampoo. I've never tried it. I've just heard people I really respect recommend it. But like Bounce Curl, send it to me. <laughs> I use the products that I get gifted because guys, I'm not trying to spend all my money trying all these different products, right? Like I know you, what you guys probably do is you find one product that works and then you never, you hold on to it with a death grasp but I don't want to do that. I want to try all different products so that you guys can know what I'm trying. Um, I usually only add water when I'm refreshing my hair. I add enough product on wash day so I don't have to add a refreshing spray. I'm in Ottawa in Ontario. Yes, I, it's overwhelming at first, but one step at a time. Do you like AG products? When I was in high school, I used to use them. I haven't tried them since properly like learning how to style my hair, but I'm sure they're great. Uh, I overwhelmed the products in stores, won't take back. Okay, so uh, this is not an ad. This is just like, I think this is cool. 
uh, Curl Vitality. If you're in the US, Curl Vitality is another TikTok account and she just launched Curls Monthly. So every month, uh, you get sent five to eight sample sizes of, of curl products or wavy hair products, five to eight samples. How great is that? And it's like under $20 a month. So you can do that for two or three months. You'll get to try like all these different products, choose the ones you like best, and then go out and buy full sizes. I think it's a genius idea. Okay. Yep. Okay. I added too much of the wavy. So pirate underscore something who was here earlier. You were right because I got no cast, my hair is very, very soft, and I don't think I'm gonna have a ton of hold. That's just the truth. I like the results, but I added too much product, and I am not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. I am also lacking a little bit of volume because of that. So you know what, she called me out. She called me out hard, and she was right. <laughs> this is a volumizing mousse. I don't know, should I add it? <laughs> I'd probably be better to add like a volumizing powder. Uh, glad to see your content. You have wavy curly hair and have no clue how to properly care for it. Welcome. Why are you changing your name to wavy? I'll address that in a few weeks after I've changed my name. Um, but you know what? I don't think we should get too hung up on it. It doesn't matter. If you have hair that's similar to mine and you like the content I create, I'm making content for you. That's what's really important. Um, okay. So... I definitely feel like it's almost still a little damp, but yeah, it is still a little damp. Okay, so we are gonna add a little bit of hair oil now. It's the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine. Remember, there is silicones in this, so if you follow CGM or you do not want silicones, don't use this product. But I love it, and it's like $6, and this is my third bottle of it. I keep reaching for it. It's a very light hair oil, so if your hair is weighed down easily by hair oil, I like it. Um, if you have a cast, it's fantastic for breaking your cast. My hair definitely is not dry, so we're gonna have to keep add volumizing stuff, should I? Yeah, there was nothing wrong with your question. I think you were just asking about why I was changing my name. No, I wasn't upset. Christina, oh, I wasn't upset. Sorry if that came across rude. I think it was a totally valid question. It's just the one that I'm gonna address later. Um, I just didn't want you to think I was ignoring you. How do you style your hair on days that you don't wash? Usually I sleep with really good sleep protection. So guys, I just haven't tried this product yet and my hair is kind of lacking a little bit of volume. So we're just gonna try it. It's the Insta Volume Volumizing Mousse by Evolve. I haven't tried it yet. It's not linked in my bio. This is literally my first time trying it. So this might just make the issue worse because it might just be like for absorbing mo more moisture. I don't know. <gasps> this really might make it worse. I'm kind of nervous. It's more of a foam. It's definitely not a mousse. And I'm trying to like get it in these areas where I want more volume. Okay. Okay, so. <sighs> Oh, sorry, my diffuser is the Lust Brands diffuser. It was sold out until recently, so I don't think it's linked to my bio, but it's the Lust Brands diffuser. It comes with several attachments. This is it for anybody who is looking for it. Love your curls, you can see I love it because I've worn off the label. The diffuser is really cool. It has like all these settings, um, like you can rotate it to have more or less airflow. It has high, medium, low, high, medium, low, and a cool shot. I have a review, I think, of it somewhere. Um, it was gifted to me and I love it. It's, I think it's $175, something like that. So it's like one step, it's like definitely a step up from like your Shopper's Drug Mart diffuser, but it's below like a Dyson. Like it's a good middle of the road. It isn't on my link because it was, um, it was sold out until really recently. So I think it's bad, I need to add it to my link. No, don't, yeah, green age. Don't clarify your hair every time you wash it. You don't need to. Uh, even if you're using lots of product, most of what's in your products is going to come out with regular gentle shampoo. The only, it's only those products that build up, like the silicones, that need a clarifying wash. And you don't want, even if you're using silicones, don't clarify every single wash day. It's too harsh on your hair. 
I would use a sulfate free shampoo. Most of the like, every, I think of my wash days in four day cycles. So like at least for my hair, I do like three gentle shampoos and then one clarifying shampoo or two gentle shampoos and then a clarifying shampoo. Hi husband, you're in the live. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and, but people with just like swavy hair or hair that's less curly than mine, you might even be able to get away with just like a relatively gentle sulfate shampoo, but there's like different types of sulfates. Like, a, and just use that every wash day. Like you can experiment with different things. There's more than one right answer, guys. Clarifying, I saw your video of your mother-in-law, wavy hair, and girl, I'm so happy to find you. Oh, you're so sweet. Yeah, my mother-in-law's the best. Um, okay, so I just added that volumizing mousse, guys. I don't know if it really did anything, but clarifying is when you use a shampoo that is specifically for getting rid of buildup. It will typically say on the bottle that it's a clarifying shampoo, okay? So for all my curly girl method girlies who never ever use sulfate shampoos and only co-wash, I would recommend clarifying every once in a while because it's not only silicones that are building up on your hair. So sure, you can cut silicones out of all your products, but there's minerals in the water that you use. There's, you know, environmental factors that can build up on your hair. So you should still be clarifying every once in a while. Uh, hit those, aw, you're so sweet, Vanilla. Okay, so I don't know if that mousse did anything. It's really a foam, not a mousse. I did a recent video about the difference between foam and mousse. What do you think, guys? Did that add more volume? Oh, you know what? I think that added more volume. Do we agree? So now the last step, how many times do I need to use a product to see if it's working for me? What a great question. What a great question. One second. Sorry, Instagram, we might... You can see I'm done my hair at least, so you have to see that, but my battery's dying on this phone, so you might lose me, but. Um, so, I like to use a product, I would say, at least, unless I have some sort of an allergic reaction, I would like to use it, a product at least twice, maybe three times before I get a sense of whether or not it's really a good fit. I often, when I'm using a new product, like to do a single wash, single product wash day where I only use that product, even if it's not meant to be used alone. And that will give me a sense of what that product is really meant to do. What is it really doing for my hair, okay? And then after I've done that, then I can kind of strategize what I wanna to add to it. So if it's lacking moisture, do I wanna add products that are more moisturizing before I use this product? If my hair lacks definition, do I wanna use more products that give me definition after I use this product? So, you know, that gives me a really good sense. So often the first time I use it will be a single wash, a single product wash day. And then after that, I will switch to trying to experiment with adding different products to it. I don't think you should give up on a product after the first time you use it, unless you have some sort of over, like bad reaction to it. Would you say if you are constantly getting like scabs or sores, your head, your head is allergic? Ooh, I would say talk to a hairstylist or your doctor about that. I don't think I'm the right person to answer that question. I know my limits and I don't wanna like misinform anyone, but my gut would be, yeah, maybe it's your products, um, but it could also be like all, any plethora of like skin condition or, or a lot of things. So I, it could be a gluten allergy, right? So, oh, thanks, Pelly. Um, Okay, so we're gonna give this one last, okay, so I am gonna go out there and say this mousse, do you guys agree? Did this give me more volume? I think it did. I think my hair was looking a little flat and then I did this just kind of like in the root areas and I think it has a little more volume, yeah. Yeah, I'm loving that. Okay, I, I fully was not expecting it to work. Link in my bio for this. I also have a discount code. I think I have 15% off for this company. I've never worked with them, but they do give me a lot of product. Gift me a lot of product. Yeah, I think I see a difference too. I'm pleased with that. I don't think it's meant for curly or wavy hair. I think it's actually meant for like blowouts, but I mean, you can't argue with results, right? So let's shake this out one last time. So I just want to tell you one last thing that I would do if I could find the product. First of all, I'm going to go look in a regular mirror and make sure that I've broken up any large curl clumps. Uh, what? 
I feel really fabulous. I feel like this is such an embarrassing angle because I feel like this is just people watching me go live and I feel like I look like an idiot. Do I look like an idiot? Ugh, guys, I'm sorry. I need to get a second um, thing that I can put right here so that you can be right here. Next time I go live, I'll make sure I have another stand. Sorry. You have been very patient with me. Thank you for those who joined. Um, so I would, if I was leaving the house, because do you guys see how I'm kind of lacking a little bit of definition through here? I don't know if you can see what I mean. I don't mind it. I like the results. I have lots of volume. If I had used the curly formula, I would have more definition through these top sections. I would probably also have a little less volume. Um, but what I could do to make up for that with the wavy formula is I could put a little bit of an alcohol-free hairspray all through my hair. That's going to give me a little bit of extra hold, do a quick diffuse after I add that, and this will last all day. I'm probably going to do that. I just have to go find my uh, alcohol-free hairspray. I use the Pantene Level 4 Hold. So that's going to help like kind of compensate when I've added too many moisturizing products and not enough defining products. I know I have a side part, and I know we're not supposed to like side parts, but I'm convinced that the side part is coming back. Do we like the middle part better? Vote middle or side part? I mean, that's not even really a middle part. Um, it's giving dirty dancing, totally. Side part all day, yeah, curlies and wavies. We love our side parts, don't we? Is it natural? I mean, it's a good question. No, it's not air dried. Yes, I have products in it. Um, the bottom half is I would call natural because even if I air dry, it's going to be pretty similar to that. This top section here uh, would be less curly than this if I didn't use denim and brush curls. So it's not a curling iron if that's what you're asking. Side part. We like the side part. Okay, side part wins. Wait, which side part did I do? Now I can't remember. I think it was like that, eh? Yay, I'm really happy with the results. Okay, guys, you guys have been so amazing to join me today. I go live every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so I really hope you will join me again next week. If you heard us talk about protein moisture balance and you haven't already, I highly recommend you go to the link in my bio, you download the Protein Moisture E-Guide. It is totally free and put a lot of work into like, I don't know, preparing it for you. If you have any feedback on it, I'd love to hear it. Send me a DM in Instagram on Instagram and we can chat. If you have specific questions about your hair, I'd love to help. Send me a picture of your hair with your questions on Instagram. Send me a DM. Let's chat. Uh, we can't really DM on TikTok. TikTok is not good for that. Uh, thank you for all the roses. Green AG63 you just became one of my top two viewers. Very cool. Thank you for sticking around. Curly on the bottom, barely wavy on top. Can't wait to try it. That is me. That describes my hair um naturally wavy yes okay so thanks so much for joining guys and i'm not gonna keep you any longer goodbye <laughs>